Okay, today we're going to demonstrate how to calibrate the LP7561 indicator. So the first thing you want to do is hit the switch and print button. It will bring you to F1. F1, you have to press print to enter. And this area would ask you how many pads do you want to calibrate. So yeah, right now it's on two, but you can move up to three and four. Normally with weight pads, it's either a two pad system or a four pad system. So today we're gonna calibrate two pads. Okay, so this is where you would enter if you want to calibrate either in kg or pound. So we're going to calibrate it in pound and you have to leave it at 1 and press print. DOT, this is where you would um, enter what uh, divisions you want, uh, how many decimal points you want the scale to have. So we'll keep it at whole numbers and we'll keep it at 0. Okay, so in this area you want to choose 20 pounds. This is where we um, input the accuracy. Usually with weight pads it's 20 pound accuracy. Press print. Okay, here is where you would enter the capacity of the scale. You'll go up to 1 and press print. And then from here you could enter the capacity of both weight pads. So for two weight pads it's going to be 50,000 pounds. Okay, so you have your F1 down. You set up your capacity and accuracy and how, you, how many pads and uh, how you want to calibrate. From here you'll go to 2, F2 and press print and you get to choose which scale you want to calibrate. So the way it works is it's left front wheel, right front wheel, left rear wheel, and right rear wheel. So scale one it will be left front wheel. We'll press print. We'll make sure there's nothing on the scale and press one. Okay, once you see the countdown, it's going to go to span. You'll press one again. And in this section is where you would enter the calibration weight that you're using to calibrate the scale. So the weight that we have as of today is 1,102 pounds. So I need to write that in. And if you look, there's the arrows. You could go up and down or left to right. Okay, so I have 1102. And this is where you would enter. Uh, this is where you would leave the weight on the scale and press print. Just like how we have it here right now. So the weight is hanging, and then go ahead and lower the weight down. Lower down. Okay, so we have 11.02 on the scale, and we're going to hit print. Okay, so from here, we'll go back to F2. We'll enter F2 again, and we'll go up to the second pad, which is the right front wheel, and we'll press print. We'll make sure there's nothing on the scale. We'll press one. Okay. And we'll make sure we have the correct weight enter heat as well, which is 1102. Okay, so from here, we're gonna shift the weight and we're going to put it on the scale again on the second pad. Okay, go down. Very well. As you see, we have the weight on the second pad and we're going to hit print. So once the calibration is done, again, we'll go back to F2 and from here to exit, you would hit check right here, or if you have more pads, you could continue on and go to the third and fourth pad. Very well. So we have 1102, it counts every 20 pounds, and the weight is on the, the weight pad, and you're calibrated.